Job. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday. I'm going down my very bumpy driveway, but we are headed to get my toes done and go to the bank. I feel like we have a super busy week. This is our first couple of days back from vacation we got back on Friday night really really late and um, I had my husband home on Saturday and Sunday but then yesterday was our first like official day back into our normal routine and for some reason I decided that all my appointments needed to fall this week so I have like something every single day this week and <laughs> I didn't realize until this weekend so there was no time to really change anything, but that's okay. We'll just truck along. But if you're new here, hi, I am Bethany. I am a mom to a two-year-old little boy and a eight-month-old little boy. Yeah, white truck. Just trying to do the best that we possibly can. <laughs> I am a nurse, but I have got the opportunity to stay home so I am doing that until we have some child care and I can get back to work so stick around and if you don't follow me on TikTok that's where I post the most I really like to post on TikTok especially because it's like quicker and it's shorter format and it's easier for me to do but we did go on vacation um and we went to Florida we went to Amelia Island and it was really really good it was fun it was only a seven and a half hour drive compared to like going any further into Florida. Yeah, big trucks. They're going to fix the road. So, the car ride down there was great, but the uh, car ride back was not the best because <laughs> everybody's bowels were moving and everybody's diapers was wet. Like every hour, it was just a lot. So, it's okay, but we made it. We had a great time. It's really, really fun. What? I'm just sad to be back. I'm also happy to be back, but when you come back from vacation, I feel like there's a lot of chores, like the unpacking and the laundry and the cleaning and the groceries and all the things that you've got to do. So, yeah, but we're just going to see what today holds. Gatlin, that's Gatlin. So, I've got my toes done and we're on our way back to the house. We're almost home. They're both ready to get out of the car. They're both ready to eat and... Um, I'm currently pumping. I'm using the Mom Cozy M5, and I think I still have a coupon code with them. I'm not sure. Um, I can check though and put it down below if I do. Yeah. But these are my by far my favorite pumps I've ever used. I love them so much. I have a collection of hands-free pumps, and right now I'm really gravitating, gravitating towards these ones. So we're home and I just ate breakfast slash lunch because it's 11.45. And now I'm going to go outside and clean my car out because we have to go 
to a doctor's appointment tomorrow that's over an hour away and I just want to have a cleaner car from coming back from vacation. Stockton is down for his first nap of the day. He is actually sleeping in his crib now. In He's even sleeping through his crib through the night and that is so sad to me and it makes me really sad that this chapter has closed but it's also really really good for me and my husband and we're really really happy to have our bed back. Um, he also started crawling, and uh, he will crawl sometimes and scoot other times, but he did that as soon as we got back from vacation. So, my mama heart is breaking a little, but it's so fun to see them grow and learn. Bless you. Ugh. Someone's awake. Yeah. So he just woke up. Um, he took about a 40 minute nap, which is pretty usual for one of the naps, and then the next one's about two hours. So that will be good. And he usually takes that one with his brother, so they're both down at the same time. Um, and then he takes one later in the day, but it's short. So, yeah, I made some bracelets. I still do my custom bracelets. I'm not doing as many orders at a time, but I am still making them. I'm also making watch charms and keychains key chains now. So, that is good that we have branched out some. Whew. But I did clean out my car. I'm going to wait and take it and vacuum it tomorrow um, at the car wash close to where I'm going to because I really like that car wash. And I'd rather just do that instead of vacuuming it out here in the hot sun. But... I am going to go outside probably and just sit on a blanket and play with him for a little while and then make Gatlin some lunch and then it'll probably be time for another nap by then. It's a little bit later in the day. It's like 6, 10 and we're headed back home because we just took some stuff to storage. I packed up some of the baby stuff that we don't use anymore. It made me really sad. I packed up the bassinet. I... Um, packed up the little sit me up the swing the baby swing like the baby clothes everything it was like really emotional um but he is sleeping in his crib through the night and there was no need for the bassinet anymore and he's also got tired and outgrew those other things and clothes and it was just it was time so um I went and took some stuff over there. I got some other stuff out, um, a little bit bigger sizes and just like some shoes for when he starts walking and stuff like that. But um, they were obviously Gatlin's. But we're on the way home and yeah, my husband's actually like right behind me, which is great because he got off late, but earlier than we thought. Yeah, we're going, we're going home. We're gonna fix some dinner. You don't wanna fix dinner? You don't wanna cook with mommy? Okay. I might try to go to the gym tonight. I'm not sure yet. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. Yo, yo. yo, if the rain holds off, we are going to try to put up a baby gate outside on our porch. It's like sprinkling here and there. I just really need a baby gate because Gallon has decided he wants to venture off the porch and it's still a construction site where it's not done yet. So. Gatlin never cared anything about my hair when he was a baby. 
Stockton rips my hair out every single day. Rips it out, pulls it, just, it's awful. And on top of the postpartum hair loss, that's literally the worst I've ever had it. Like with Gatlin, I did not have it this bad. Um, it's coming, it's so bad. It's a good thing that I have a ton of hair because I would have zero hair left, I feel like. I would be bald. Like if you want a wig, let me know. Just message me um, because I have enough hair to make a wig for someone that I, I have enough hair lost in my shower to make a wig for somebody. Like, don't, don't pay for a wig. I will give you one. So we're going to our hair appointment. Hi. We're probably just gonna tone it, um, cause I, it's lightened up since we dyed it. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I just pretty much let her do whatever she wants cause I know she's good. So anyways, we'll see what I do. I don't know, are we gonna play it safe or not? I have to drop, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to drop Gallon off at uh, a grandparent's house because he it's not really safe for him to just chill in the salon really I just worry because he's super into everything right now and I can't just get up and chase him the entire time and on top of that I'll have Stockton so she's gonna watch Gatlin for me for about an hour and a half two hours and then uh, I'm gonna bring Stockton with me because he's still really easy and um, he still nurses so he loves to just sit on the boob. But I've got to take some boxes off to the trash dump. And that's really all I'm going to do today because I have stuff to do tomorrow out and about. And I can just run the rest of the errands i got to run. I feel like I can do that tomorrow. I don't know. This was a lot. A lot of rambling. But yeah. We're going to get our hair done. <laughs> I just dropped Gatlin off. And I need to know if anyone else's kids are like this especially like two-year-old kids um so Gallon turned two in April and he still you know loves his mama I stay home with him so he's with me literally all the time um he's going through a phase of only wanting me again he did that like his whole infant life and then kind of switched over to daddy about a year old and then like liked us both and now he's just only wants me again and so like when I leave him places like if I ever have appointments that I can I go to that he doesn't come to me with um I have to sneak out I can't be like hey I love you bye I'll see you later love you so much I'm not leaving you like you know I can't do that because if he sees me leave he'll freak out and hyperventilate and I'll never get to leave and I'll be sad and he'll be sad and honestly it would just be not it just not even be worth it to go to the appointment because I'll probably be very late um and I have to sneak out and just like let him go look for toys or get something to eat or go in another room to do something and then just sneak out and I hate that and I feel so bad but if I do that he usually is like okay but if he watches me leave he's gonna freak out so is anybody else's kids like that because that hurts me that hurts me really bad apparently this has turned into a car vlog and also it is another day later because I just honestly forgot I got busy and just forgot to pick up the camera. So it is Friday. I am on my way to the gym right now. It is 7.30 p.m. and my husband is home. We just ate dinner and uh, the boys are still awake, but one or both of them might be asleep by the time that I get back. It's been about three and a half weeks since I've been to the gym, so I'm taking advantage of it. We've been super busy. We've been on vacation. There's been a lot going on, and yeah, I kind of just got put on the back burner, and so we're going back. I also realized that I didn't tell you guys about my hair. Uh, well, I clearly didn't cut it off. I still have like a little ponytail going on. Um, I just got a trim, and I got it toned because this is essentially my natural color my natural color I just dyed it dark and then we've been I've dyed it twice dark to match my roots and then we've just been toning it ever since so yeah I really am just super happy with it and I'll probably never go black blonde unless I have like a midlife crisis because this is so easy and eventually I'll get to the point where I don't even have to do anything to it because it'll just be all my natural color I'm going to continue to grow it out unless I just feel like I really want to chop it 100% and I have no doubts. 
I don't really know what I'm gonna do at the gym today because it's been so long, but I'll take you guys with me. <sighs> Y'all, that workout. It looked like it wasn't a lot, but I'm sweating. I, my core is hurting. Now, I was going to take you guys with me, but I was actually in the middle of filming a TikTok, so it's going to be the opposite direction, and I wasn't going to film every single thing twice, but just a different way. So, I'll insert it here, but it'll probably be in vertical format. Um, so, yeah. Like I always do, I forgot to end the vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you subscribe and stick around because I'd love to have y'all, but I will see you in my next video. Bye.